For the flat bar shown and an external load P of 100 kN, what would the minimum plate thickness T be if the maximum allowable stress is 250 MPa and we're designing the part with a factor of safety of 2? This is the third example for the stress concentrations and factor of safety main video. The link to that video and the other examples are in the description below. Just like we studied during the main lecture video, the factor of safety describes the ratio between the maximum allowable stress and the maximum stress that the member or structure is currently being subjected to. This means that the maximum stress, which will happen when the thickness is minimum, is equal to 125 MPa. This maximum stress will either occur at the hole or at the fillet. And in both cases, the expression for the maximum stress will be equal to the stress concentration factor K times the axial normal stress P over A. Neither of these should exceed the maximum stress. At the hole, the area should be 88 minus the diameter of the hole times the thickness of the plate. At the fillet, the area would be 64 times the thickness of the plate. The diameter of the hole to the plate width ratio will give us an x-axis value of 0.455 for the stress concentration chart, which yields a stress concentration factor K of almost exactly 2.2. For the fillet, the x-axis value will be 15 over 64, and the d over d fraction will be 88 over 64. With 0.23 on the x-axis and looking at a curve between 1.3 and 1.5, Slightly closer to 1.3, we can estimate a stress concentration factor of 1.7. Substituting the values in both equations and solving for the thickness of the plate, we see that the thickness needs to be at least 36.7 millimeters for the maximum stress at the hole not to exceed the maximum allowable stress with a factor of safety of 2, and it needs to be at least 21.25 millimeters for the maximum stress at the fillet to not exceed the maximum allowable stress with a factor of safety of 2. If we want neither stress to exceed the maximum allowable stress with that factor of safety, meaning that we want both conditions to be met, the thickness of the plate should therefore be 36.7 millimeters. Anything lower than that would cause the maximum stress at the hole to be larger than 125 MPa and therefore the factor of safety would be lower than 2. The links to other examples as well as the lectures of the Mechanics of Materials course are found in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.